What is going on, everybody? No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Restart, restart. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to our final episode of our Pokemon Red Let's Play. Guys, we just stormed through the Elite Four with an under-leveled Pokemon team, but because we know what we can do here with our team, we were able to really utilize their advantage or their types against these Elite Four. We were use, able to do type advantages against Lorelei. We were able to defeat Bruno. We were able to beat Agatha. And we were even able to beat Lance, the Dragon Master, without any Ice or Dragon types on our team. Because our Pokemon are just that good. We treat our Pokemon with that extra love and care. And we know what we gotta do to win the games. So guys, we are about to walk in against the champion of the Pokemon League. None other than our rival, Gary. So guys, let's get into it. I cannot wait. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. And bam. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Jaren. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp while working on Pokedex I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Jarian, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Level 61 against my level 51. That's okay. Go for the Thunderbolt. Not bad. Finally, it goes for a physical daily move. So Mew, though 10 levels down, is just crushing him because she's got that Thunderbolt that we put on since the third gym. It needed to happen. I'm gonna go Charizard versus Alakazam. This is the battle of battles right here. Because my Charizard's only level 43. We're 16 levels down. But Sla... Oh, Psychic might take us out. Because he's got the Stab Psychic and he's way higher than us now. Alright. So get that Slash on him. Did get the critical hit. Charizard's dead. Charizard's dead. Like, there's nothing... Nothing I can do here. Alright. Gonna go into Mew. Gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Goes for the Side Beam. It's not gonna do too much damage to us. Even though that was a good amount of damage. Go for T Bolt. Didn't do anything. Okay, we're gonna go for Mega Punch because Mega Punch is a physical damaging move. And he doesn't have the defense to handle that. So that's good. <clears throat> I forgot how much damage his, uh, his Psychic would have done to a Charizard. Alright, so he goes for the Reflect, giving him a little bit of armor. Oh, are you serious? Alright, no big deal. No big deal. Oh no. Oh, beautiful Mew. Good job. Alright, so let's see what he's going to throw at us right now. I forgot that Thunderbolt wouldn't have done anything, yeah. He's going for the Rhydon. I'm going to switch into Gyarados. Alright. So Rhydon, Ground Rock, Gyarados. Going to go for the Hydro Pump. And he hits it. That's going to take him out. 100%. Alright. So guys, again, look at our level difference. 14 levels down. And we're still coming out on top. Because we gotta know what we have to do here. It goes into the Arcanine against our Gyarados. I'm gonna actually stay into Gyarados. Hope for that hyper for, hope for that hydro pump to hit. And it hits. The only Pokemon I was worried about in this entire fight was that um, Alakazam. Alakazam is very scary. I'm actually going to stay into Gyarados because he's a Grass Psychic, but I'm actually going to go and use that 
full revive, or that max, actually I'll just use a regular revive. I might need to use max revive on you. But uh, we're looking really good here guys. This is going to be the final battle. Alright, we'll go for the max potions on the Charizard. Charizard isn't actually down. Gary thinks he's down, but he's not. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Oh my god, this barrage. This barrage of everything. Okay, gonna use the max potion on you. I'm just prepping my Pokemon for the worst. Goes for the barrage again. He won't take me out with this barrage, even if he hit me five times. At least I don't think. Alright. So I'm actually going to use Max Potion on my Gyarados as well. Now, he's got an Exeggutor and a Blastoise. We got a Mew, a Charizard, a Gyarados, a Vileplume, and a Nuking. So we have 100% won this game. I'm actually going to switch into Charizard. Hope that he goes for the barrage again. If he, like, switched with Psychic, I would have been so upset. Goes for the Hypnosis. We all know this song and dance. We actually just got to keep using that, um... Pokeflute. Because for some reason the game's like hard coded to like continuously use hypnosis. Oh, he went for the barrage. Okay. So we go for the fire blast. We're faster than Exeggutor. Nice. Wow, that didn't do much damage at all. Oh, critical hit. 20 damage a hit. And the thing about um, those kind of moves like Fury Attack. Um, barrage is that if they crit on the first time they'll continuously crit every time over so it's a little sketchy here we go and he misses and our fire blast hit so that is gonna be a dead executor good job Gyarados Last Pokemon Blastoise. I would love to go Charizard versus Blastoise right now, but I just can't. I know I'm going to get one shot. So we're going to go and use that Vileplume. So I'm going to throw the Toxic on him. He knows Blizzard. Alright, not bad. Throw the Toxic on him. Go for the Mega Drain. I cannot believe he hit Blizzard twice. I was like, he's not going to hit Blizzard twice. All right, whatever. We got the Toxic on the Blastoise, so a matter, it's just a matter of time since until we take him out. We can use Mew. I didn't want to beat Mew with Blastoise. I wanted to beat, use my Bioplume to beat him. I wanted it to be super cool, but I failed, so whatever. Whatever, Mew's got this. Imagine if this Hydro Pump just like took me out. Just like one shot at me. I'm like, what? All right, that poison, going for that last Thunderbolt. That is gonna be the battle, guys. We have defeated him with only a few casualties. No, that can't be, you beat me at my best. After all that work to become league champ, my reign is over already, it's not fair. Why, why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Ah, oh, it feels good. So you won, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. Jaren, you have come of age. Gary, I'm disappointed. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Dude, that's so harsh. Like, Gary just wanted the professor, his own grandpa's approval. He was wanting to, like, continue to be the best champ or trainer there ever was. I killed his Raticate. I beat him at every time. And he got the advantage on me at the start of the game by picking this the water type against the fire and then he becomes the league champ and as soon as his grandpa's on his way I kick his ass in front of his grandpa and his grandpa you know what he tells him after he's gone through the entire world and he's lost his radicate and he's just done his absolute best you know what his grandpa says to him I'm disappointed in you 
How brutal is that? Anyways, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Jaren, come with me. Does any notice me? I notice you. Yeah, I see you, sir. Okay, sorry. Ahem. <clears throat> Congratulations, Jaren. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Jaren, you have endeavored hard to become the new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations, Jaren. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Look at that. Mew. Hall of Fame. And my Charizard. Hall of Fame. Gyarados. Hall of Fame. <laughs> Vile Plume. Look at that. It's so cool to see a Vile Plume in the Hall of Fame there. And last but not least, our Nidoking. Oh, come on. You couldn't just make it 1530? 330. Try to catch other species. I don't care about them Pokemon. Oh. Well, guys, we've done it. We've finished our first Pokemon Let's Play. And I want to thank all my viewers from YouTube, all my viewers on Twitch, for helping me go through all this. It's been really fun. I really enjoyed this Let's Play. I, I actually, I don't think I've enjoyed Pokemon like this in a long time. And like I said in one of my previous episodes, like it feels like I'm playing Pokemon Red and Blue for the first time again. Because I have to reimagine the game when you do a Let's Play. And I just, I don't know if this is a true statement. This is what I feel like. That I need to replay this Let's Play for the thousands and millions of people that are going to watch this Let's Play. So... I have to play it like I never have played it before. And yeah, I can be knowledgeable about the game, but I have to have that genuine enthusiasm about playing this game because it is one of the best Pokemon games you will ever play in your life because it's the basics, it's the first, it's the nostalgic or er, the nostalgia behind it and it's the childhood experience that we all had for those who grew up in the 90s so i really hope you guys enjoyed that there's still a little bit left that we have to do there's no way i'm gonna finish any pokemon game be before i do that but it was good and thank you so much gavin 1250 for the follow that was a perfect time because as the ending went we had megan trainer play so guys we're not done yet. There's still just a tidbit of information or a tidbit that we have to do. And I'm ready to go. And the thing we need to do is take Mew. And we need to go to Cerulean City. Go here, talk to the lady. All right. <laughs> All right. That is so anticlimactic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, what is going on right now? I don't think that Radata has ever felt so much pain in his entire life ex since it, or aside from the Mew using Psychic on it.
We missed? <laughs> we missed? <laughs> this one trainer. This one trainer. This is literally the only trainer in the entire game <laughs> that we didn't. <laughs> that. Oh my goodness. That was literally the only trainer in the entire game that we'd never put. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this. This is the Cerulean Cave, guys. This is Cerulean Cave. Max Lecture, not bad, not bad. All right, I know exactly where I'm going. A full restore, not bad. You want to see the level of the Pokemon in this cave, guys? 46, not too bad. All right. It's actually a good experience. It's good. Uh, this is probably the cave that everybody would go to like level up their Pokemon. And the thing that sucks about this cave is that we can't really use super repels or anything because it's just so we're so far under level or um yeah, we're so far under level that we can't really do much here. Look at that, level 52. That's the, the level of our highest Pokemon. But we're Mew, so we could pretty much run away from anything. Another full restore. You would think we are about to go... Oh, this isn't the right way. Actually, wait, is it? Let me just make sure. You would think we were about to go against the strongest thing in the game with all these full restores. Nugget. Actually, this might be the right way. Oh no, this isn't the right way. Sorry, I knew. Well, we got we got an extra piece. Um, I was confused for a second. So look at the kind of Pokemon that we're finding in here. Uh, Jaren, when we start streaming League, we will be doing League of Legends right after this episode. Alright. All right, yeah, I was supposed to take the right. Um, I only went to the left. I don't know. We got a nugget out of it. It was worth 5,000. Oh, I lied. Not to the right. What's going on here? This is definitely the right way. But there's only one way to go here. Oh my gosh, the encounter rate of Pokemon? Hey, it's the Ditto! This is the only place you can find Dittos in here. Ditto's very, very rare. Okay, so obviously I'm in the- Oh my gosh, the encounter rate is so high. Venomoth. This is weird. This has to be the right way. Hold on. Something's, something's up here. Is it actually this one? Maybe I messed up. I think I messed up. I think it is this one. Yeah, it is this one. Oh shit, my bad, my bad. Yeah, because you go up and then it's just right... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go up the water from the front entrance and then it's... Oh my god, the encounter right here is dumb. Can you find Ditto East of Fuchsia? Uh, I think it's Chansey you can find East of Fuchsia. I thought it was the right way, but I, I think it's that I think it's where I just came from. That's the right way. 
I thought it was the right way as well. I, I could have sworn for like my life savings that was the right way. Oh well. No big deal. These encounter rates though in here are dumb. I could have sworn it was that way. I think, I, I feel like I'm missing something. Cause normally like I would just run and grab him and then get out. Maybe this looks right. This looks right. Germs like big black juicy meatballs. What the heck? Look at that wiggly tough. Terrifying. It's actually terrifying. Alright. Yeah, this is the uh Oh my gosh, this encounter rate is crazy. Thank you so much, Araga Tobaka, for the follow. Alright. There's so many Pokemon in here. Oh my god, it's right. Oh my god. I knew I was I knew I was going the right way. I knew I had to go all the way and I thought there was something wrong there. I thought I thought I was doing something wrong. Yeah, the way I was going before was the right way. I just wasn't supposed to go up those stairs. I didn't see the, the south exit at the bottom there of that mountain or of that like pit, the top there. That is the stairwell and then you go this way. You go um, to the right down south and then it's like a uh, stairs right in the bottom. Yeah, this is the way we go. And then I believe we take the left. I want to get the item anyways. Oh my gosh, the wild encounter rate in here is crazy. Alright, oh my gosh. God, the wild encounter right in here must be like 80%. Oh they just don't want us to get. The path isn't the same as in Fire Red Leaf Phoenix, that's why I couldn't remember this correctly. I think I was thinking of Fire Red Leaf Phoenix too, but I was just like, why is it like not the same? An Ultra Ball? Why would we need an Ultra Ball? God, this encounter rate is actually dumb. This is worse than Zubats and Mount Moon. Actually, it's almost just as bad. Like, if you guys remember. Holy crap, I'm taking four steps running into a Pokemon. Like, what is this? I'm taking four steps. Like, okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, seven steps. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind here. I just want to finish this episode. I just want to beat this game so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I think because Mew is in the front of the team, we can use that last super repel. And we don't have it. Feels good. Oh my lord, help me, Jesus, please. This actually, I hate wild encounters when you don't want them. It's like the worst feeling in the world. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. There's so many Pokemon. Uh, Jaren, what will you do when you reach 250 followers? I'll be happy, I guess. It's one of my milestones. I've hit a thousand followers on Jerry now, so for me it's just another thing. Holy, oh my god, I just want this episode to end. I just want to win this game for level 64? What the heck? Holy shiitake mushrooms.
55. What the hell? Oh my god. I just want to get the items. Hey, look at that, a chancy. Level 64. Holy crap. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm so salty. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. This is so lame. The nice thing is we're Muse, so we can always run away. But like three steps? Are you serious, game? Like, let me just get to where I need to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just let me get stuff. Jeez. Holy macaroni. Holy fish moly. This is nutty. Oh my god. The encounter rate is actually needs to be nerfed. Like you don't need to see this many Pokemon. Like I guess it makes sense if you're training. But like, holy, I'm not here for training. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. My beautiful, majestic, amazing Pokemon. Oh man, it's tilting me. It's tilting me. All right. Nice, so far so good. I wanna get this item though. Another Ultra Ball. All right, here we go. Oh. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> oh my god, guys. It's guys, it shouldn't be so salty. We beat the game, we had an amazing play. Um, I just really, really, really want to get this Pokemon. I just really want to get it. Alright. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. But it's kind of cool, actually, to see what kind of Pokemon in here. There's so many different Pokemon. And, like, Chansey, Raichu, Kadabra, Machoke. Like, there's just so many of them. It's amazing. Oh, come on. The last step. You just had to be it. You just had to do it. You just had to be at the last step of the piece of what we need. All right, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? Now we're legitimate. If I find a Pokemon in the water, I'm going to lose it. Look at that beautiful, majestic piece of amazingness. It's a Charmander. Just kidding. There he is. It's Mewtwo. It's so beautiful. Oh, Master Ball. The game is a complete a hundred percent. Give a nickname, yes. Beautiful, beautiful Mewtwo. Now that's a catchy tune. Alrighty, guys. So we have done it. I was going to show you guys how to get Moltres. You guys saw how to get Moltres um, to get get um 
to get uh, Zapdos, you go to the, you know, when you go to um, Rock Tunnel, um, the Cave of Doom. Instead of going down, you go up to the water and around. And there's a power plant there. You walk all the way up to the power plant, and there's a Zapdos there. Um, I would get those, but it's not really to complete it. This is the only piece of completion to this entire game. Mewtwo, and then... Oh, Mewtwo, and then Mew. Those two Pokemon to me, plus the Pokemon League, is completion. So... We must use the final... Okay. Alright, we'll use the final weapon. The final weapon will be used... Fly to Rock Tunnel and murder the bird. Alright, I'll show you guys how to get Zapdos. But before I do... Before I do that, I need to go... I want to run to Saffron. I'm going to pick up some Max Repels because I do not want to be encountered with any Pokemon. Our secret weapon. Alright, let's buy some Max Repels. I'm gonna buy 10 just in case. Alright. Alright. So, with Tofu, he wants to see the secret weapon being used. Which is fine, I understand. I want to see the secret weapon being used too. Are you guys ready for this though? I don't even think. Oh my goodness. Don't even bother catching Zapdos. He must know who the true Lord and Master is in Gen 1. It's true. It is true. <clears throat> Alright, guys. So, oh my goodness. This is amazing. Here we go. So you'd go this way, guys. Like we're heading to the Cave of Doom. And then instead of going down, you go up. And then we use our Max Repels. Pokemon, Gyarados, Surf. You surf down south from this water. It's kind of cool. Like pe People didn't know much about all this stuff. Jump. I was going to jump on the bike, but we'll probably get there fast. Oh my god, wait. I'm pretty sure there's a guy here. Alright, we're just going to skip that guy. He just has a lick of tongue, that's it. Here's the power plant. I'm not going to touch any of these Pokeballs because some of them are Electrodes and Voltorbs. Um, there's only two good things in here, and one's a Thunderstone and one's Thunderbolt. So this is how you get Zapdos, guys, and you guys already saw how to get Moltres. Oh, my bad. So here is Zapdos, guys. Let us just teach it who the daddy of the universe is. So beautiful. I'm gonna catch this thing. Look at his health, what the heck? Oh my god, I got a critical hit. Alright. 
I could have killed him. I thought he was gonna kill him one shot, but because he's so, because he is so low right now, I might as well catch him, right? Might as well. I don't even think I can use a Pokeball. Actually, I got some Ultra Balls. Okay, so we actually have to have him like a hundred percent in some kind of um, state of like a status effect because we can't catch him. I'm just gonna keep using a Pokeball till he knocks out our Nidoking. King. That way we can switch into Vile Plume. And when we switch into Vile Plume, we should be able to be faster. Maybe not faster. Okay, can you just use Drill Peck on us? Like, why do you gotta be using Thunder Shock? Are you serious right now? Come on, just attack us with Drill Peck, dude. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Because I can't attack him with anything. Thank you. Alright, beautiful. Alright, we'll go for the Vile Plume, go for the Stun Spore. Oh my god, if he gets a critical hit. Okay, good. Beautiful. There we go. Got him. Alright. So Mewtwo actually showed... Are you serious? No, not Siri. Mewtwo actually showed mercy to the Zapdos. That's why we're still letting it live. Why can't I guess this thing? What the heck is going on? It's like at 3 HP with para paralysis. Alright. Alright, you're gonna bring out Papa Mewtwo. Two hundred and forty one HP. Are you serious right now? I don't know what the heck's going on. Like why why is it not getting in the Pokeball? Hmm. I'm are you are you serious right now? I'm gonna go for the Sultra Ball, and if it doesn't take it, Mewtwo's gonna teach the Zavados. Okay, he he heard me. Zavados like, okay, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll freaking go in the Pokeball. Don't make Mewtwo use his uh, psychic moves on me. All right, cool. So we caught the Zavados. We won't nickname it. Transfer to Bill's PC, and then once you catch the Zavados, you just walk out here, and you're good to go. You take Mew. You fly to Pallet Town. You go say howdy, how are you doing to mama? Right? You just go in here. And Tofu says we show we treated him with mercy and he spits in our face. Yeah. Alright. And that was the episode of Pokemon, guys. Alright, guys. So I thought I'd throw, I'd throw a little bit of that Zapdos in there too, because you know what, I, I, I showed you Moltres, I showed you Articuno, I, I have to show you Zapdos. So, that was good. Anyways guys, that's it. That's all we got for you. We got the champion battle, we have the run through Cerulean Cave, we catch the Mewtwo, we use Mewtwo, teach Zapdos a lesson, catch Zapdos in the process because Mewtwo showed mercy, because Mewtwo has a kind heart, and, uh, and we came home to Mama, healed up, and we're good to go. That's it. That's all we do. So guys, thank you all so much. It's been a blast. This Let's Play has been amazing. I cannot wait to jump into Generation 2 with you guys. If you thought Generation 1 was fun, if you had some funny moments of me being a goofball, if you had some serious moments, if you enjoyed this, you're going to enjoy Gen 2 for sure. I want to thank you all so much for checking out our YouTube channel. Thank you for liking our videos. Thank you for commenting on our videos. And of course, thank you for subscribing. We will see you guys in our next Let's Play. Take care, everybody.